today in Chatty Natty, Professor t o i s a k m u n s a w a t สวัสดีค่ะ We're going to talk to him about his work because he turned the trash from what I call the trash into an art form. Yes. Very interesting, right? Let's go inside. Would you call it like a junk, junk, or would you call it trash, or would you call it something else? Uh, I would not call it junk because for the artist. Every materials are the same. Mm-hmm. It have meanings. It also have uh, value, cultural mm-hmm. value through it. I call this body of work is an art form. Art in, form. In uh, a jewelry format. Uh, for my idea, the human body, the wearer of my jewelry, become a movable media, so that they can carry my work to speak to people in mm-hmm. society. Uh, now, because it's made. Of uh, trash, but I don't call it trash. I call it s a cult- uh, cultural objects or a cultural leftover, mm-hmm. because each of the material that I collect have a, 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 a have a own life, have a, a, a meaning mm-hmm. adhere to it. Mm-hmm. For me, as a I don't call myself an, an artist. I don't call myself a, a designer. I call myself a, a, a social critic. Who, social critic, yeah, mm-hmm. social critic, uh, communicate to people through my work, my art, my design, and my writing. Mm-hmm. Therefore, all my work has to has a, a certain uh, meaning, a certain uh, stories that happen around us in mm-hmm. in in today's society. Okay, um, why jewelry? Why not um, clothes or um, why not shoes? Why not hats and why jewelry? Jewelry, when when you pick something. To contrast it, extremely contrast it. You kind of like y o u r n an open-ended language to to people, mm-hmm. and let them find themselves. For example, we all know that uh, jewelry has to made out of uh, precious materials. Right. But now I use trash. What happened? Mm-hmm. Why Why do you think it's become a jewelry? What is the meaning or the definition of jewelry now? I want people to think. Instead of I telling them mm-hmm. what it is, if I use trash and put in the context of jewelry, it create a big questions. Mm-hmm. Why I use trash for mm-hmm. jewelry, and why you call it jewelry, because you don't use any uh, precious metal. Mm-hmm. But for me, the jewelry. If we look at the history of jewelry, people who live in the cave, they find all the bones, s h e l l whatever oh, around yeah. them. Oh yeah, like ancient times. Yes, mm-hmm. and then they put it together into a necklace, and it's become a jewelry. It's talking about how you see yourself by using jewelry to transform your mm-hmm. feeling. Mm-hmm. If you think it's beautiful, it's beautiful no matter what. Mm-hmm. That's why my work is is not talking about uh, commercial value, but talking about the inner value. Mm-hmm. What was the inspiration behind all of this? Like. One day you just went to the beach and you just found everything, the trash on the beaches, and you just pick one of them. That's it. My parents live close to the ocean, and I grew up, you know, uh, uh, playing around the beaches. Now when I moved back, I went for my vacation, and I found a lot of trashes on the beach. It's not beautiful as it used to be. So you know, I w- wake up really early in the morning, and I. Grab a, a plastic bag that I found on the beach, and then I started to collect all these objects. Everything? Not everything. Uh, mainly yeah. the thing that will not uh, uh, deteriorate uh, mm-hmm. by themselves. Like what? Like plastic, glass. I document uh, wherever the object I found before I pick it up. After I pick it up, what happened? Right. And then when I take all this stuff back to my studio, I started to look at all all the the things that I collect, and started to make a story mm-hmm. story about all the objects I made and how I would communicate to the people who mm-hmm. uh, look at my work or who wearing my work. Mm-hmm. So it start from there, and it took me like uh, five years to finish this body of work because I collect. All these objects from uh, eight different beaches mm-hmm. in Thailand. Oh, so mainly in Thailand. Mainly in Thailand. The thing that I found very interesting is that uh, in a certain beaches, 
I would find a certain type of treasures or cultural objects. For example, the beaches that located in a popular town for a tourist, for example, like Pattaya Beach. I right. found a lot of uh, uh, lighters. I found a lot of uh, 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 water bottle caps. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on another hand, when I went to a, a very a remote beach on uh, Gokgut Island, on the eastern part of, of Thailand, mm -hmm. Indrat, I found a lot of uh, cultural leftover from uh, Vietnam, from Cambodia. And it's very strange because now, it's bec to me, I look at it closely, I think that it's become a big problem too. The moving trash from other country to... The moving trash? Yes. It's very, it's very uh, strange for me. And nobody talking about this. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, uh, for my work, as you can see here, I try not only just use uh, 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 trash to make my work, but the most important thing for my work is the way I communicate to people in a society mm -hmm. regarding the definition of jewelry mm -hmm. and also the, the definition of, of artists mm -hmm. or creator who create art or design. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the definition of jewelry for uh, people in society it has to make out of uh, precious metal, mm -hmm. precious stone. But for my work, there is no the precious and the significance of the work is the way I communicate through my work mm -hmm. to the people. Why? Why the jewelry has to be always expensive? If we're talking about general public, yes, it's going to be expensive. Uh -huh. But it's expensive because of the material that has been used. Uh -huh. For example, you use gold, you use a platinum, you use a ruby, sapphire, diamond. That's why it's expensive. But What, we, what about your work? Oh, my work. Instead of using, uh, 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 do you think my work is expensive? Well, I would say <laughs> from, what, from what I've seen, yes. <laughs> okay, Let, let's talk about this a little bit. Okay. Now, uh, my work doesn't use uh, uh, precious uh, materials. However, right. I as, as a, a creative person, I would like to uh, try to promote the value of thinking, mm -hmm. not the value of material. Because for us, we look at materials, they're all the same. It depends on the idea that mm -hmm. we generate. If it's necessary to use gold, we use gold. But we don't determine that we're going to use a precious material. Mm -hmm. Because all the materials have a certain, have, have a meaning, uh, have a different meanings. For us, they are all equal. Mm -hmm. However, my work is, is, is it's maybe a little bit expensive for Thai people, mm -hmm. but for my uh, uh, foreigner uh, clients or collectors, this is the, the normal, uh, normal price. price. Yeah, normal price. Um, besides working as an artist, um, designing jewelry, and besides um, um, like doing like artworks, what else do you do? Oh, I have uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, like for what? example, like you know, we we just have the, the flooding in Thailand. Right. So I do all uh, the volunteer works. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes I join uh, a, a hospital or a group mm -hmm. of doctors to go out and help people. But uh, a lot of times I just do by myself. You know, just uh, uh, call some friends, uh, get some donation, and we bought something and mm -hmm. uh, give it away uh -huh. to uh, people who need it. I also love to read. Like, yeah. What's I, your favorite book? Oh, uh, most of my book has to do with uh, the social issues uh -huh. because that's uh, my interest in terms of uh, uh, making all my creative work. As I mentioned before, uh, I don't consider myself an artist or designer. I, co I consider myself uh, a social critic. And those kind of books has, has an impact on mm -hmm. the way I think and the way I produce my work. Uh, so, uh, but I don't limit myself to just uh, the uh, social concern type of books. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of different books, but most of them are related to creativities. Uh, you know, I have to think after I read it. So <laughs> that's 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 my interest. What's the ultimate goal in your life. The What's the dream? Oh, my dream is is kind of funny. I want to be a cool and hip uncle. So <laughs> why, you know. Why, why? Why uncle? Wait. <laughs> because I, I, I cannot have baby. Uh -huh. So that's why I, you know, I want to be a hip uncle for my nephews. 
you know, take my nail, nail fuse, my, uh, uh, my, what you call? Yeah, take my nail fuse to go to uh, opening, art opening, to see a lot of uh -huh. different things and do a fun things together. I really do. I want to to be cool and sit down and enjoy things around me and play with uh, 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 the children. You know, right. even though they're not my children, but hey, it's still fun. Because, I think because you're already a cool teacher, yes. that's why. Maybe, maybe, yes. Do you think um, you're a cool teacher? Oh, I'm a very cool and very weird and strange uh, <laughs> teacher. However, I, I really a uh, disciplined teacher. Uh -huh. I really uh, train them how to be responsible for what they do. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if we, we want to have fun, we have fun and we really have fun. What do you mean by you have fun and you really have fun with the students? Yeah, you know, when, when we study, when we get into the creative process, we mm -hmm. have to have fun. We have to create the environment so that a student love to express themselves, love to try a certain mm -hmm. things. Outside class, field trip, we have fun. You know, we have to have fun because fun is a part of life. Mm -hmm. Especially for my students because they are teenagers. They have to have fun, but fun will come with a discipline too. So, so you're a cool teacher, and you want to be a cool uncle. Yes, that, that's right. that's my ultimate goal.